Hello, 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 my friends. How are you guys doing today? Today, we are going to continue playing this game of gameliness. What's going on with my camera? I fixed my camera to not be this. Hold on. Wait a second. Wait a second. I fixed my camera right before this. What the frick? I just changed my camera and it went back to what it was. I am so confused. I just fixed my camera. Sorry, I gotta fix this again, I guess. I just fixed my camera to be different for you guys, and apparently it went back. Okay, hold on. 
Okay. Now stay. Okay. Now stay. Stay, camera, stay. How are you guys doing today? Welcome, welcome. We're going to be continuing our adventure in Undertale, where we have reached Snowden. Snowden is the crazy is the crazy place where we have reached last time, which was yesterday. Let's see what we got in chat today. We've got Zach James Walker. Uh, Bounty, you seem new. Are you bound? Are you new here? Uh, Brandy, of course. We got Tiger. We got Hat Blocks and Shamar and Insanity. Guys, earlier in the chat, it was discussed. Um, somebody was saying was apologizing for not being here because their life it got in the way or whatever. Don't apologize for not being here. Don't just don't apologize. I am I am entertainment. If you are not entertained by me, and you're only here to support me, you're not here for the right reasons. <laughs> you want need to be entertained. I need to be. This is my job. To be to be a good entertainer to you, to provide you good good content. You don't apologize to Netflix for not watching it, right? You're not like, I'm sorry, Netflix. I didn't have time to watch watch you today. I just it just bugs me when so many people apologize to me because it just makes me feel like crap. Honestly, honestly, it makes me feel like crap because that to me says that. My content isn't good enough for you to actually be come back here and watch it and that you're only here because you feel the need to support a small streamer, which just makes me feel worse. <laughs> so don't think of me as a small streamer. Don't think of me as a big streamer. Just be here if you want entertaining content. That's it. That's it. That's all I want. If you don't like the content, if you if you're only here to support me just unsubscribe like i don't need you to be here to support me i need you to be entertained because if you're entertained more people will be entertained right and if you're if i have a hundred people in here that join me every day just to support me no matter what then i never make my content any better because you guys are in here no matter what, right? And I'm very grateful for people that want to be in here, be a part of the community no matter what. But in the end, I am performing a service that I am paid for by you guys. So because of that, it is it is a service and I hope that you guys enjoy it, right? That's my job. That is my job by being here. Anyways, whew. Since I'm on the subject of you guys paying for it, thank you. A shout out to all my members. I haven't done a member shout out for a while, but just all my members. Diamond tier, silver tiers, uh, bronze, every every tier, every tier. If you're a member of this channel and you're and you're a member because you enjoy the content, which all my diamond tiers are, like, uh, they're all they all get their money's worth. I try to make damn sure of it <laughs> as best as I can. Everybody gets their money's worth of their of their diamond tier memberships and everything less. So I really appreciate it. I really and um and I just hope I can provide you better content. Now, with that being said, let's get back into the game. Um, blues were officially eliminated. Oh no, that sucks, Tiger. I'm sorry. Rip the blues. Do you have a game coming up? All right, let's get back into this. Press two or enter. Continue! Hello, traveler. How can I help you? I'd like to sell you something. Huh? Sell something? Does this look like a pawn shop? I don't know how it works where you come from, but... If I started spending money on old branches and used bandages, I'd be out of business in a jiffy. Fine, I'll talk to you. Hello. Hiya, welcome to Snowden. Can't remember I saw last time I saw a fresh face around here. Where'd you come from? The capital? Hmm, you don't look like a tourist. Are you here by yourself? Ah, Hearts Betty. Or not Betty, thank you so much. Guys, can we get a huge hashtag in the chat for not Betty slash Betty Betty? <laughs> thank you, thank you. 
Oh, uh, so guys. Oh, by the way. Oh, Lee Labean. Thank you so much for that. Guys, let's get a hashtag in the chat for Lee Bean as well. Oh, you guys are amazing. And now you're here. Welcome, Libbean. Welcome. Uh, I want to make a quick point since it's different. Uh, notice that I have a green screen up again. My lighting is still crap. So you've got this like little stuff around the chair here and that. So my lighting is crap, but I'm I'm setting up my back. I'm setting up my background finally for you guys. It'll be uh, two things. It'll be both a green screen and a gamer and a gamer setup but the green screen's easier i don't and so it'll be a green screen and then one day you'll just see you'll just see the all these lights and stuff behind me oh what's up kenny hearts okay let's get back in this i can hit i can hit the i can hit the love buttons on those oh i need to change that I need to change that to be like down here. I'm gonna change the notifications to be like lower somewhere. Maybe over the game. All right, what kind of run? This is a pacifist run. This is a pacifist run. Um. Okay, so, oh, I forgot to put pacifist on the screen. I said I was gonna, okay. I said I was gonna do that. So I gotta, I'm just gonna quickly type it in a text thing. Really quick, uh, pass pacifist. Pacifist. Pacifist run. There we go. I don't know. I don't know where to put it. Oh, that bottom corner there. Maybe I should say pacifist run. Oh, okay, that's kind of nifty right there. That, that that might work. Is that how you spell pacifist? Did I spell it wrong? Is that how pacifist is spelled? I don't know. It sounds it's okay. Anyways, let me get back into it. It's, I don't know why this looks like the like the tem shop. Wait, how does the tem shop spell it? All right. Say hello. Oh wait, I already said that. Uh, what do you do here? You want to know what you need to do here in Snowden? Mm, Real Bees has food, uh, and in the library has information. If you're tired, you can take a nap at the inn. And if you're bored, you can sit outside and watch those wacky skeletons do their thing. There's two of them. Brothers, I think. They just showed up one day and asserted themselves. Mm, the town has gotten a lot more interesting since then. Town history. Think back to what, think back to your history class. A long time ago, monsters lived in these ruins back there in the that their forest. Long story short, we all decided to leave the ruins and head for the end of the caverns. Along the way, some fuzzy folk decided they'd like and called and set up some camp in Snowden. No! And don't think about trying to explore them ruins. The door's been locked for ages. So, unless you're a ghost or can burrow under the door, you can forget about it. Well, what about your life, lady? Life is the same as usual. A little claustrophobic. But we all know deep down that freedom is coming, don't we? As long as we got that hope, we can grit our teeth and face the same struggles day after day. What's up, T.O.D.? Uh, pacifist run. That's life, ain't it? Okay, uh, do we want to buy anything? Do we want to buy anything here? Tough glove. Uh, we probably want to buy some bicycles. Uh, na, na, na. Yeah, probably want to buy some bicycles. Uh, I don't know, like two? Maybe even three of them? <laughs> you like, you like, you like the voice for her? I think it's a good voice for her. Bye now. Come again sometime. See you later, lady. Let's go ahead and save really quick. Isn't my little settlement just the cutest? 
bun buns are so adorable. <laughs> Bro, uh, I'm not gonna talk to everybody. We we should talk to this kid though. He's important. Yo, you're a kid too, right? I can tell because you're wearing a striped shirt. Yep, that's me. That's me, striped shirt kid. We don't need to talk to anybody here, right? Mm. He said he'd offer you a glass of water, but he doesn't touch the stuff. What a savage. Yeah, we don't need to do anything in there right now. But a bum 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 bum. We don't need to talk to them either. Let's just keep going. Where do we need to go right now? Uh, the rocks are up here. The family of rocks. There's a dude on the side. Oh, we can't use that yet. Can't use that yet. I'll talk to this one. Why not? We all know the underground has problems, but we smile anyway. Why? We can't do anything. So why be morose about it? <laughs> I did not understand a single word you just said. Uh, that's not where we need to go. Where, where is Sands? Oh, uh, here we go. This is what we're looking for. <laughs> buy some free real estate. That'd be fun if we could buy something. It's locked. Oh, I did not mean to go in there. It's Kenny as a mouse. Dang it. I, every time I click out of the game for a half a second. All right, let's go. Uh, we went into Grillby's. Now we just need to go over here. We just need to go through Snowden, right? Do we need to do something else? I don't even remember. <gasps> Papyrus. Human! Allow me to tell you about some complex feelings. Somehow, I feel like you're an old friend, even though I've never actually met you before. I can't explain why I feel this way. Did I meet you online? I have so many social media connections, it's hard to keep track of them all. Just a dozen more, and I finally reached double digits. <laughs> A dozen, a dozen more, and then he'll reach double digits. So that means he's currently at negative two. Hey, wait a second. You can't be my friend. You're human. I can't believe you almost tricked me into def not defeating you. Whoopsie doopsie. Papyrus blocks the way. Papyrus, uh, flirt. What? Flirting? So you finally reveal your ultimate feelings. Well, I'm a skeleton with very high standards. Um, uh, I can make spaghetti. Oh no, you're meeting all my standards. I guess this means I have to go on a date with you. Let's date later, after I capture you. Do, 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 do. Ba, 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 ba. Papyrus is thinking about what to wear for his date. Flirt again. Oh no! Let's date later after- Oh wait, I, I need to do something else. Do I check? He likes to say, nyah, nyah, nyah. <laughs> What's up, big bass? Do, 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 do. Tap some bone cologne behind his ear. Uh, wait, do we just continue flirting? So you won't fight? Then let's see if you can handle my fable blue attack. Oh, right. Hold on. You just say so. Remember, guys, the blue stop sign. Oh, I hate this, bro. Where's, what's my jump button? Oh, it's up. It's it's holding up on the D-pad. That's my attack. <laughs> You're blue now. I'm blue, I'm a dee, I'm a die. Papyrus is too busy fighting to flirt back. Ba -ba 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 
Power stabs his MTT brand Bishy Cream behind his ear. What? I'm not thinking about that day thing. Oh no! 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 Oh my word! What's up, Haley? Haley M, how are you doing? Hold up! Longer to jump higher, jeez! Dang it! I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead. I need a heal, I need a heal. You eat one half of a bicycle. That sounds delicious. Yeah, don't make me use my special attack! Ooh, ah! Papyrus stabs his MTT brand attraction slime behind his ear. Spare again. You just sneeze eight times in a in a row? Bless you. I can almost taste my future popularity! Oh my word! Oh you savage! Papyrus dabs MTT brand. I'm gonna go ahead and eat my other, my unis unicycle. Oh no! Oh my word. Papyrus realizes he doesn't have ears. Poor guy. Papyrus! Unparalleled spaghetti! Oh my word. You know, I hate you! Oh my word, I'm so out of practice, guys. Papyrus remembered a bad joke Sans told and is frowning. Happy birthday, Pumpkin Jack! Uh, do we continue spare? Undyne will be really proud of me! Oh, I'm dead. I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead! Oh, I'm, I'm definitely dead. You're too weak, I was easily able to capture you. Now I'll send you to the capture zone! Okay, as Sans calls it, our garage! You're in the doghouse now! <laughs> What? It's a note from Papyrus. Sorry, I have to lock you in the guest room until Undyne arrives. Feel free to make yourself at home. Refreshments and accommodations have been provided. Yeah, fully yours, Papyrus. Yes, this is a pacifist run. It's too small to sleep on. Dang it, bro. <laughs> Dang it. I don't think I've ever lost that fight before. I'm not sure I have lost that fight before. I mean, I haven't played this in a long time, but still. Still. Do we have to do the fight again? Am I at full health? How do I check my health? Yeah, I'm at full health again. Okay, okay, let's try this. Let's try this. So you can't lose this fight. Sans mailbox. I know it's so filled. So we have to win this fight, but we can't lose this fight. Oh, crap. Two bones and the skeletal anatomy of fate. That's how you appear here now, even though it's very impossible for you to escape. Amazing! I feel a sincere... Wait a second. I still have to capture you! Hold on, this is, this is, this is getting my throat. Get one second. Whoopsie dootsie! Oh yeah, one second. Let me get, let me drink some water real quick. Guys, if it it might be it might be surprising to you. His voice is somewhat hard to do over a long period of time. It's not even it, Toad isn't even as hard. All right, <clears throat> Papyrus blocks the way. We gotta spare it. Hmm, I wonder what I should wear. Papyrus is thinking what to wear for his date. Spare him again. Mercy is moody butt. Yep. Mercy! 
Take that mercy. Okay, okay, here we go. Papyrus is thinking about what to cook for his date. Spare him again. Yeah, don't make me use my special attack. Ooh, ooh. Papyrus stabs some bone cologne behind his ear. I can almost taste it. Ow. No! I knew it was coming. Papyrus stabs marinara sauce behind his ear. It's quicker to just... Wait, are you saying we should just lose here? Wait, are you saying we should lose here again? We did lose here. Papyrus is too busy fighting to flirt back. Papyrus, head of the royal army. Oh my word, bro. Papyrus and parallel spaghettor. Ah! Ah, oh, Rup dabs MTT brand anime powder behind his ear. Let's go ahead and eat a bicycle. One half of the bicycle. Undyne will be really proud of me. Ah! Dang it, bro. Whoo! Do it again, and then you get a special ending? Really? This is a little hard, including neutral run, genocide, and attack to genocide again is half the volume, almost as high to beat. Well, the thing about genocide is you have to fight freaking Sans, and he's not easy. Um, If we lose, we get a special end to the battle. Wait, I'm so confused. We're supposed to lose here? The king will trim a hedge in shape of my smile. My brother, well, he won't change very much. Between his beauty ear. I have lots of admirers, but... Oh, 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 oh. Realizes he doesn't have ears. Well, anyone like me is as sincerely as you. Ah! 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 Oh, crap. Papyrus is cackling. Someone like you is really rare. Whoa! Well, oh, I freaking hate you. You eat the unicycle. And dating might be kind of hard. Oh. Oh, you scoundrel! I almost landed. Papyrus whispers. <laughs> Mercy, I spare you. After you're captured and sent away. Oh, made it! No, I did not make it! Pyrus is considering his options. Chad, it's a pacifist run. Ah! Who cares? Give up! No! Ba 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 ba. I'm I'm a goner. I'm a goner. Dang it, bro! I'm gonna eat my ice cream. You recovered 15 HP. Give up! Or face my special attack! Oh my word! Don't, don't, don't! Ooh, 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 ooh. Papyrus is trying hard to play it cool. Yeah, very soon I'll use my special attack! Oh my word, bro, I'm so bad. Papyrus is rattling his bones! Not too long and I'll be able to use our special attack! Oh, I was not paying attention. Papyrus is cackling. Can I use flirting? Can I flirt yet? I don't think so. This is your last chance before my special attack. Bum, bum. Papyrus is considering his options. 
Papyrus is too. Okay, yeah, I was right. Behold my special attack! He's so cute! What the heck? That's my special attack! Hey! You stupid dog! Do you hear me? Stop munching on that bone! Hey! What are you doing? Grandma! Hey, come back here! It's my special attack! Oh, mm. oh well! <laughs> well! I'll just use a really cool regular attack! Getting ready for a regular attack! Ah! Here's an absolutely normal attack! Oh! I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. No! Well, you may have cleverly escaped from jail before, but this time, I've upgraded the facilities. Not only will he be trapped, but you won't even want to leave. <laughs> Are you serious? Man. Okay, that, that, Joshua, I let you, uh, I let you, uh, last time make a joke, but that one's not allowed. You're saying if you lose five times in a row that something happens. So Joshua, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta, you can't be, you can't be racist here, my dude. You can't be racist. Once more and Papyrus will be funny. So what happens? How much money does Sans have? He has a, he has a million doubloons, at least. Let's go buy more nice creams, guys. <laughs> Let's go buy some more nice creams. In fact, I could spend all my money on nice creams, probably. Actually, quick, actually, I got a better idea. Oopsie, I hit the wrong button. How about I just go back to my save? <laughs> I, I already lost. Why don't I just go back to my other save? I just do this. I already had all the nice creams and stuff. Why don't I just go back to my other freaking save? Hold on, here we go. We'll fix it, we'll, we'll fix it. What's up, Ducky, how are you doing? Which is that? He'll be your best friend forever, Willie? Willie? I still don't, I don't know what happens. You just skip the fights, making it really awkward. Oh, he skips the fight, making it awkward. That's actually kind of funny. Maybe I should do that. Maybe I should do that. That might be that might be funny. You guys just want to skip it? Okay, let's go ahead. Pull the flowey. I know, right? Classic flowey. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Let's get to the third one really quick. He'll skip the fight. I've never seen that before, so I'm willing to try it because I want to see what it looks like. Uh, do, hold on. Before I do, does it negatively affect me down the line at some point? It doesn't negative effect, negatively affect me, correct? So we can do it, and it will not hurt the pacifist run in any way, correct? And if it doesn't hurt the pacifist run, we'll do it just for the fun. We'll just do it for the fun of it. Because I've never seen it, so I'd love to see I'd love to see what happens. Okay, so let's just skip to what we've already done. Oh no! Oh, oh man, I'm so bad. Oh man, I'm the worst. Look at me go. It's just papyrus sparing you, but that's really funny. That's really funny, because that's classic papyrus. That's a classic papyrus move. All right, we're just gonna get hit. Bum, 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 bum. Okay, so there's the first time. So you said three times? For the lulls, if you will. What's up, Keen? How are you doing? How are you doing, Keen? Good to see you, my friend. All right, we're gonna go this way. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's go again. For the lulls. Should be the last time. Yeah, five sounds like too much, but possible. All right, we already read this dialogue as, ready, uh, as well. And then we'll lose here. And then he'll spare us on the third, after the third loss. Mm -hmm. 
One more. Well, you may have cleverly escaped from jail, but this time I've upgraded. All right, now let's try it again. But this time I get to keep my bicycles. Now I get to keep my bicycles instead. <laughs> he just gets fought, tired, right? Welcome, welcome. I can't, uh, I don't know how to read your name, but welcome. Okay, let's see what he's, let's see what this dialogue says. Back again, eh? I suppose it's my fault. I told you before that I would make you spaghetti. It's only natural that you'd want to see me. I in that dire hope that you, I would make you some. Well, I understand. Papyrus is hungry too. Hungry for justice. <laughs> and then this is where we just lose again. We lose one more time. Behold. Okay, we're going to lose one more time and see what he says after that. He says the same dialogue here. Do, 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 do. Sorry for no Todd. No, <laughs> I'm, I want to see it. I want to see it. If uh, if I if I didn't want to see it, would have went a different way. You are persistent, but it just won't work on me. I am the persistentist, and if you think you're persistent tester, that is wrong. Gram grammatically wrong. Because the correct form would be not as persistent to test as Papyrus, the persistent to test test. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. <laughs> Papyrus is a is a hoot. Is just a hoot. I tell you. It, wait, he's not there. Oh, there he is. All right, now let's see what he says. You're back again! I finally re realized the true reason why. You just miss seeing my face so much. I'm not for it. sure I can fight someone who feels this way, but mostly I'm getting really tired of capturing you. Fight Papyrus? No. Okay, I guess I'll accept my failure. <laughs> no! I can't even stop someone as weak as you. I'm just gonna be so disappointed in me. I'll never join the royal guard, and my friend Connery will remain stagnant. What should you say? Let's be friends. <laughs> what a loser! Really? You want to be friends with me? Well then, I guess, I guess I can make an allowance for you. Wow, I have friends, and who knew that all I needed to do to make them was to give them awful puzzles and then fight them. No, oh, you taught me a lot, human. My here guy grant you permission to pass through, and I'll give you directions to the surface. Continue forward until you reach the end of the cavern, then when you reach the capital, cross the barrier. That's the magical seal trapping us all underground. Anything can enter through it, but nothing can exit. Except someone with a powerful soul. Like you! That's why the king wants to acquire a human. He wants to open the barrier with soul power. Then us monsters can return to the surface. Guys! You don't get this information this early in the game. What? This is all information that you're not given this early in the game any other way. That's so funny that if you do this and you lose against Papyrus, that he just gives up the whole thing. And I, I think that's really funny because most people are going to play until they beat Papyrus, right? Majority of people are going to sit there and play until they complete the fight against Papyrus. So they're not going to do this. That's really funny. That's that's really funny. Man, I'd never done this. So thank you guys so much for uh, having me do this because I wanted to, I've never seen heard this dialogue before. Ow! I almost
almost forgot to tell you. To reach the exit, you'll have to pass through the king's castle. The king of all monsters. He is, well, he's a big fuzzy pushover. Everybody loves that guy. See, now this dialogue I remember, that he's a big fuzzy pushover and that everybody loves that guy. I don't remember him saying it. Does he actually, does he say it normally? Cause I'm pretty sure he doesn't. I guess I could be wrong. It has been a long time since I played this. I am certain if you just say, excuse me, Mr. Dreamer, can I please go home? He'll guide you right through the barrier himself. Anyway, that's enough talking. I'll be at home. I'll be at home being a cool friend. Bye. Feel free to come by and hang out. <laughs> what a crazy, what a crazy, crazy fellow. We got to love Papyrus. Uh, okay, let's go. Let's go. King Fluffy Buns. What's up, Bob? How are you doing? Yo, are you sneaking out to see her too? Awesome, she's the coolest, right? I want to be just like her when I grow up. Hey, don't tell my parents I'm here. <laughs> uh, oh, I forgot to hit this first. All that gives my life validation is explaining the echo flower. No one can know. The sound of rushing water fills you with determination. Nice. Don't leave Paps, go back for a date. Okay, let's go, let's go, let's go back for a date. Let's go back for a date. I hope your days get better, guys. Yeah, let's go back to say hi to Papyrus. Wait, hold on. Oh, okay, I, th I thought we were gonna get into a cutscene there. Papyrus! So you came back to see me. You must be really serious about this. I have to take you someplace really special. A place I like to spend a lot of my time. <laughs> Man, this, is, this is really funny. Doo -doo. My house! <laughs> Welcome to the to scenic my house. Enjoy and take your time. Ba, 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 ba. It's a dirty sock with a series of notes on it. Sans, please pick up your sock. Okay. Don't put it back down. Move it. Okay. You moved it two inches. Move it to your room. Okay. And don't bring it back. Okay. It's still here. Didn't you just say not to bring it back to my room? Forget it! <laughs> That's the trash can! Feel free to visit at any time! Impressed? I increased the height of my sink! Now I can fit more bones under it! Take a look-see! <laughs> the dog, bro. What?! Catch that meddling canine! You should play hard mode? Uh, our character's name is Flisk. Curses! <laughs> Sand, stop plaguing my life with incidental music. Bum bum ba 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 ba. That's my room. If you finish looking around, we could go around and hang out like a pair of very cool friends. Go inside, sure. So, um. Uh, if you've seen everything, do you want to start hanging out? Check the couch. Okay. Begin the hangouts now. Take your time. I'll wait for you. All right. So, check the couch. You touch the couch. It makes a jangling sound. You find a bunch of loose coins inside the couch. You got 20 gold? Oh, my word. Nice. Free gold. It's an old joke book. Take a look inside. Yeah. Inside the joke book was a quantum physics book. You look inside. Inside the quantum physics book was another joke book. <laughs> uh, that's funny. Okay, you said if I go between them fast enough, I get dialogue.
Wait, how many times would I have to do that? It doesn't seem like it's working. No, the kitchen. Oh! Oh, the kitchen. Okay. The kitchen. Let's do that really quick. <laughs> Wait, what is he? What is he supposed to do? Is he upset now? Wait, what was the? <laughs> wow, being a good host is a great workout. Is he supposed? Was that it? Do I play Pokemon? Yeah, we'll probably the next time we play Pokemon will probably be the next one. Was that the dialogue we were trying to get? Just make sure he doesn't stop. Oh, okay, okay. All right. Ah, oh, dang it. I'm not fast enough. Hold on. Come on. Dang it. It's hard. That's hard. Dang it. How many times do I need to get that bell to ring? I'm assuming it has something to do with the bell. Dang it, that's so hard. Come on! Okay, how many how how many times do I need to do that? Ah, oh, that's really hard. That's hard to get right. Dang, I'm always late on one side or the other. Okay, here. Oh, I get it. I did it. I did it. Oh, that was it. Okay. Just we only need the bell to ring once is what you're saying. So, um, if you've seen everything, do you want to start hanging out? Right. Begin the hangouts. Okay, let's hang then. <clears throat> hangout start. Hangout start. Here we are hanging out. I've never actually done this before. Guys. This song is eerily reminiscent of Ace Attorney. This this song right here is feels right out of Ace Attorney. Anybody else feel like that? I mean the beginning of this song. Obviously it's an Undertale song, but I'm just now realizing that this is very much like um, Ace Attorney. But don't worry, you can't spell prepared without several letters from my name. I snagged an official hangout guidebook from the library we're ready to have a great time let's see step one press the c key on the board for friendship hunt <laughs> wow we i feel so informed i think we're ready for step two step two ask them to hang out Ahem. Mm -hmm. Haley, it's inappropriate. It's inappropriate, but also Papyrus doesn't know the difference. Human, I, the great Papyrus, will hang out with you. Sure. Really? Wowee! I guess that means it's time for part three. Step three, put clothes, not nice clothes to show you care. Mm -hmm. Wait a second. Wear clothing? That bandage hanging off of you. You're wearing clothing right now. Not only that, earlier today, you were also wearing clothing. No, could it be? You wanted to hang out with me at the beginning? Ah, no, you planned it all. You were way better at hanging out than I am. No, your friendship power. <laughs> Don't think you've bested me yet. I, the great Papyrus, have never been beaten at hanging out and never will be. Yeah, wait a second. Yeah, I just realized there is a different one because every time I played this, it's always date Papyrus. This one's hanging out with Papyrus, which honestly I'm more comfortable with. But how do you... How do you... 
Is you have to beat Papyrus and then it becomes a date? If you beat Papyrus in that fight? Is that where the difference is? Have I? I've never been beaten and hanging out and I never will! I can easily keep up with you. You see, I too can wear clothing. In fact, I will always wear my special clothes underneath my regular clothes. Just in place someone wants to hang out. Behold! What do you think about my secret style? I love it! No! A genuine compliment? <laughs> However, you don't truly understand the hidden power of this outfit. If you flirt with him, you get a date. If not, it's a hangout. Oh! I just always hit the flirt button, I guess. What you just said is invalid! This hangout won't escalate any further! Unless you find my secret! But that won't happen! Move and inspect with Z. Oh, I've never done this before either! Uh, do I, have I done this before? I don't remember. My hat? My hat! My hat! <laughs> well then, you found my secret. I suppose I have no choice. It's a present. A present to you just for you. Open it. Do you know what this is? Of course, it's a plate of spaghetti. Spaghetti? That's what you're thinking, isn't it? Right! So wrong. This ain't old any plain old pasta. This is an artisan's work. Silken spaghetti finely aged in an oaken casket. Cask. Then cooked by me, Master Chef Papyrus. Human, it's time to end this. There's no way this can go any further. Eat it. You take a small bite. Your face reflectively scrunches up. The taste is indescribable. What a passionate expression! You must really love my cooking! <laughs> and by extension, me! Maybe even more than I do! Ah! Oh! No! Human, it's clear now! You're completely obsessed with me! Everything you do! Everything you say, it's all been for my sake. Human, I want you to be happy too. Oh, I hit the wrong button. It's time for me to express my feelings. It's time that I told you, I, Papyrus, mm, well, I'm flattered you care so much, but maybe it's just a little bit, mm, you are a very nice person. I'm glad we're friends, but I think you can reach your max potential if you live more for your own sake rather than just for mine. Hmm. Hey, I know the solution. You should hang out with my boss and die. I think if you, sp if you spread your friend energy out more, you have more healthy lifestyle. Yeah, let's be friends with Undyne. <laughs> Got friends on my skeleton, I know, right? Oh, and if you ever need to reach me, there's my phone number. You can call me anytime, platonically. Well, gotta go. <laughs> uh, classic, classic papyrus. We got rejected by the most classic of papyruses. It's a race car bet. <clears throat> Neatly made. I got boned. Oh my word, such boned. Okay, nothing else we need to do here. We can now leave this place. Actually, let's go save really quick. Platonically with benefits. I don't think that means platonic. <laughs> Dang it, why didn't I take the shortcut? I'll take the shortcut back. It's too late now. It's too late now. I regret my decision, but we have to go forward because it's too late. It's just too late. Okay, let's save. Boom. There we go. Saved the file. Now we head up on in here. And now we go on and continue. I don't think we need to turn around and go back at all. Do, do, do.
at least he got his number yeah now we now i can call him up and be like hey bro where is my tutu something about a tutu i can't remember he'll call us about a tutu up here if we wear it or something something about wearing a tutu i i can't remember oh we we say we could have saved here right i forgot about this one let's just save here too what's up sans what haven't you seen a guy with two jobs before fortunately two jobs means twice as many legally required breaks <laughs> i'm going to grillbees want to come sure well if you insist i'll pry myself away from my work ba -ba -ba. over here <laughs> i know a shortcut fast shortcut huh hey everyone hi sand greetings sans how you fancy hey sans weren't you just here for breakfast a few minutes ago nah i haven't had breakfast in at least a half an hour you must be thinking of brunch <laughs> here get comfy Do 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 do. Whoops. <laughs> Watch down where you sit. Sometimes weirdos just put whoopee cushions on the seats. Anyway, let's order. What do you want? A burger. Hey, that sounds pretty good. Ruby, we'll have a double order of the burg. So, what do you think? Of my brother. He's so cool. Of course he's cool. You'd be cool too if you were, wore that outfit every day. He'd only take that thing off if he absolutely had to. Oh well, at least he washes it. And by that, he wears it in the shower. <laughs> Here comes the grub. Want some ketchup? Of course! Bon appetit. <laughs> You tip the ketchup. The cap falls off and all the ketchup in the bottle pours onto your food. <laughs> Sorry, I had to clear my throat. Yeah, forget about it. You can have mine. I'm not hungry anyway. Poor guy. But anyway, cooler than I. You have to agree, Papyrus tries real hard. I like how he keeps trying to be a part of the Royal Guard. One day, he went to the house of the head of the Royal Guard and begged her to let him be in it. Of course, she shut the door on him because it was in, it was midnight. But the next day, she woke up and saw him still waiting there. Seeing his dedication, she decided to give him warrior training. It's, um, still a work in progress. <laughs> you came down with a femur. That's funny. That's a humorous. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah. I wanted to ask you something. Have you ever heard of a talking flower? Yeah. So you know all about it. This echo flower. Not the talking flower I was talking about, but sure. All the skeletons crack the joke. Nice, Tiger. That's your joke? What what a what a joke. They're all over the marsh. Say something to them, and they'll repeat it over and over. What about it? Well, Papyrus told me something interesting. Sometimes, when no one else is around. Flower appears and whispers things to him. Flattery, advice, encouragement, predictions. Weird, huh? Someone must be using an echo flower to play a trick on him. Keep an eye out, okay? Thanks. I will do, Sans. Well, that was a long break. I can't believe I let you pull me away from work for from work for that long. Oh, and by the way, I'm flat broke. Can you foot the bill? 
It's just ten. Uh, it's just ten thousand G. Yeah, sure. <laughs> just kidding. Drillby, put it on my tab. <laughs> By the way, I was just gonna say something, but I forgot. Classic, bro. Good luck on your joke. Break a leg. There you go. It rose from the dead. Classic. Classic Jesus flower. Okay. Um, let's use the uh, fast travel. Is the fast travel closer? I'm beginning to think it wasn't. Ba -da -ba 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 -ba. Tiger. 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 For your own benefit, I think I think you should stop making jokes about about you not knowing something. I think it just for your own benefit. I think it's I think you need to go back to joke rehab and just stop making that joke. <laughs> it's only funny a couple of times. See you later, Boko. It's only funny a couple of times, but when it's your joke every time, it just loses all of its flavor. A hundred percent of its flavor, not even not even remotely funny anymore. Like, I don't even make the joke because because you make the joke so much. Oh, man. Like, well, there's no reason for me to make those jokes because they're already being made in mass amount. See you later. Thanks so much for subscribing. Thanks so much for being here, guys. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. Fantastic time. Fantastic everything. Undying time. Hi, Undyne! I'm here with my daily report uh, regarding that human I called you about earlier. Huh? Huh? Did I fight them? Uh, yes! Uh, of course I did! I fought them valiantly! What? what? D did I capture them? Oh, uh, well, no. Uh, I tried very hard on dying, but in the end, uh, I, f I failed. Oh, uh what? You're gonna take the human soul yourself, but on dying, you don't have to destroy them, you see? You, you see, you, uh, um, uh, uh, I, I understand. I'll help you in any way I can. Oh, Tiger, uh, ti the Tiger, it's my fault. I made the joke, and then Tiger's just... I would make jokes like that. Tiger's only mimicking my humor, which I don't mind. But it it there it does stop being funny after a period of time. You gotta keep it fresh. Gotta keep it fresh. You guys wouldn't find it very funny if I'm just like, what's a game? What's a controller? What's a computer? What's a, what's, what's a microphone? What's a, what's, what's a ground? What's a walking? What's a button? What's, what's a clothe? <laughs> you know, you wouldn't find it very funny after, after a significant period of time. Yo, did you see the way she was staring at you? That, that was awesome. I'm so jealous. What'd you do to get her attention? <laughs> Come on, let's go watch her beat up some bad guys. <laughs> what a crazy kid. A feeling of dread hangs over you, but you stay determined. Uh, when you played Genocide Root, the gun was different. What do you mean? <laughs> Bum, bum, bum. It said it was loaded. The gun was loaded, but we don't have a gun. I mean, it would make sense. I don't, we don't, we have a toy blade, which I wanted to sell. I picked up the toy blade, but I didn't do anything else. It made farming so much easier, I'm sure. Yeah, because it takes a bunch to farm in this. If you're doing, excuse me, in a genocide route, guys, you have to murder late all of the enemies, every single one. And then you have to go and take all of them out so much that it changes the game in a really creepy way. 
A genocide is hard to do. It's hard to do if you have any sort of moral values. He's talking about a fan game. Oh! Yeah, that I wouldn't know about a fan game. Aaron flexes in. Flex. I'm gonna flex. You flex. Aaron flexes twice as hard. Attack increases for you too. Flexing contrast, okay? Flex more. Ah! Uh, ah! Uh, Aaron is ready for your next flex. Flex again. You flex harder. Aaron flexes thrice as hard. Nice. Ha! <laughs> I won't lose though. Oh, I forgot about this! No, mm, oh, this is the hardest one! Uh, you know what? I gotta do it. I gotta do it. Aaron flex. We gotta win right now. You flex. Aaron flexes very hard. He flexes himself out of the room. You won and earned zero XP and 30 gold. Okay, I'm going back to save. Or should I? Should I save? Nah, probably not. Ah! Oh, no, 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 no. Do I need all four of them here? Yeah, I do. Hey, what's up, miss? What's up, Mrs. Snapclick Cat? How are you doing? You can myrtleize everyone? I just wasn't ready for the responsibility. Bro. There's a lone quiche sitting underneath this bench. Will you take it? Delicious. Yes, you got the abandoned quiche. How are you doing, cat? I hope you're having a great day. Ooh. Uh, here. And what's up, Chaos? How are you doing? Uh, does that mean Nobsablute could have stopped uh, genocide? Uh, what do you mean? How so? Okay, let's go one more. Okay, and then we get a call from Papyrus. The Parentals. Now you're chilling? Nice. Nice. That sounds like it could be good. This is Papyrus! How did I get this number? It was easy! I just dialed every number sequentially until I got yours. <laughs> so, what are you wearing? I'm asking for a friend. She thought she saw you wearing a gross bandage. Is that true? Are you wearing a gross bandage? What will you say? Oh, uh, yes. Yes, I am. So you are wearing a gross bandage! Got it! Wink, wink! Have a nice day! <laughs> Papyrus. Have a great day, Haley, and have a good time at the pool. A long time ago, monsters would whisper their wishes. Oh, <laughs> I'm doing a Papyrus's voice. A long time ago, monsters would whisper their wishes into the stars in the sky. If you hoped with all your heart, your wish would come true. Now all we have are these sparkling stones in the ceiling. They're very pretty, though. Thousands of people wishing together. Can't be wrong. The king will prove that. Washua shuffles up. Washua, we need to clean. You ask Washua to clean you. He hops around excitedly. Green, green, clean! I'm dead! I, need, I forgot that I didn't get health, bro. You cannot give up just yet. Lisk, stay determined. Yeah, I should have healed. It's my bad. I didn't heal. I forgot, I forgot I needed to do that whole healing thing. Silly me. That whole healing thing. Guys, I should have done that whole healing thing. 
Silly me, I tell you, it is it is an atrocious thing. You guys should remember to heal. <laughs> totally forgot to heal. Masha was your spirit am animal. Aaron, flex. Okay, we already did his dialogue, so let me just try to survive without getting hit. Dang it! I thought I was gonna be good there. Do 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 do. Okay, and then this one. Dang it! Do do do. I still took too much damage. I still took way too much damage. And we want the abandoned quiche, so I unfortunately have to do this part again. Because we do want the abandoned quiche. It is food and it is heals. Oh, I almost put that on the wrong one. That would have been bad. The squeak. I know, right? Hey, okay, let's go grab this. Thank you. Take it. Uh, do we need to actually talk to this plant or the thing? Is there something else back here? No, it's just the abandoned quiche and the plant. He looks good. He does. Aaron looks very good. He's a he's a muscular horse. Jelly guys are very cool. There's a lot of really great monsters in this one. Okay, really quickly. Real quick, like, let's go ahead and skip through this really quick since we just already did that. Okay, now I really want to check something out here. Okay, so they all stay. Let's go save really quick. I'm going to go save. That way I have a save point. Yeah, since they stay, we're good. Let me go ahead and quickly save. And then we'll continue. In case I lose. I don't want the lose. No, okay, I'll save twice. Save twice, just be nice. Do I plan to play Genocide after? I don't know. I was thinking Delta Rune next, but uh, I mean, I guess it depends on whether people really like the playthrough and they want to see a Genocide. Uh, this will be two pacifist runs in a row. Or, yeah, on this playthrough. Delta, yep, yep. Deltarune. I have not played chapters two or three of Deltarune. You ask Washua to clean you. He hops around excitedly. Green means clean. Oh, I need that. Ah! Washua wonders if tears are sanitary. You won. Earn 25 gold. Yay. Let's go ahead and read this. Ah, uh, seems like my horoscope is the same as last week's. Check wall. Check wall. Are we supposed to check this wall? Which wall? I wish my sister and I will see the real Thor someday. On, sish. Make a wish. I don't know which wall we're supposed to check. This wall? Oh. Mm, all right, and we want to save because of an un, the undying the undying part coming up. All right. Uh, I wonder. I this I should get through this. In, I usually get through this in one try, but maybe I screw it up a lot today. No, oh, I, I, I got wrecked there, bro. That was dumb. That was dumb. No! Dang it! I suck. Ah! Mm. 
<laughs> uh, is he gonna come out? There he is. <laughs> hey, yo! Did you see that? I'm dying, Jess! Touch me! I'm never washing my face again! Man, are you unlucky! If you were standing just a little bit to the left, Yo, don't worry. I'm sure we'll see her again. <laughs> what a what a kid. What a kid. Three gold for the fairy. Nope. Later then. Fine. I don't want to be the fairy. I don't want to use your fairy fairy. This cheese has been so long here so long the magical crystal has grown around it. It's stuck to the table. Squeak! Squeak! <laughs> Knowing the mouse might one day extract the cheese from the mystical crystal, it fills you with determination. Wasn't I actually able to uh talk to this if I didn't hit the squeak? I'm pretty sure I was. Um, uh, I'm thinking about getting into the telescope business. It's normally around 50,000 gold to use this premium telescope, but since I know you, you can use it for free. How's about it? Use the telescope? Of course. Man, this is exciting. Are we supposed to see something with it? Use the box? Uh, actually, well, actually, yeah, we can sell here, right? I'm pretty sure we can sell you and you and, uh, 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 let's put you away and sell the faded rib. Wait, could I, should I wear those? Could I f wear the faded ribbon? You equipped the ribbon. Uh, oh, I had the bandage on. What does the ribbon do? Still kind of gooey. Your HP was maxed out. Hold on. Wait a second. Hold on. Uh, the tough glove. Info. Tough glove, weapon attack. We use for five finger folk. I don't need that. All right, let's go in here. Yeah, the bot will, will, the bot will snipe you. I relocated my store, but there's still no customers. I'm a customer. Fortunately, I've thought of a solution. Punch cards! Every time you buy an ice cream, you can take a punch card from the box. If you have three cards, you can trade them for a free ice cream. They're sure to get customers to come back. Nice cream, it's the frozen treat that warms your heart. Now just for 25G. Super, here you go. Your card's in the box. Thanks, wait, I thought this was the store. The old turtle? I guess it's not the turtle part. Not the turtle part. I thought I thought we were gonna be seeing the turtle right here. I clearly am wrong. Let's save a bicycle. Uh, and an ice cream for now. All right, let's go back in. Uh, grab our nice card. The box contains one card. So take a card. You got a punch card. Use the box to put the punch card away for the moment. All right. I'm thinking about... No, no, no. Uh, we already... How about it? Nope, I don't want to use it anymore. Well, when it, come back whenever you want. Uh... That's a star. Can you touch it? Can you eat it? Can you kill it? Uh... Are you a star? You're creepy, kid. You are one creepy little bean. 
Let's go save really quick. Get filled with some determination. What's up there, plush? How are you doing? The turtle club. Turtle. Turtle, turtle. Let's go. Such peaceful music. Uh, I don't remember. Is What's down here? Is Tammy down here? No. Is this where we need to go? I don't remember. Let's go back up to the right really quick. Go up here. What? This is like a shortcut with a duck or something, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, I have memory. I have memory! I just wanted to confirm! The whipped cream guy is very scary. All of them are scary. Such spoops. You hear a passing conversation. So, you don't have any wishes to make. Yeah. Mm, just one, but it's kind of stupid. Ooh. Do, 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 do. Molds, molds. Mm -hmm. Ballerina slippers. It's a pair of ballet shoes. Will you take it? I will. Mm -hmm. What do they do? They use make incredibly. Oh, they're weapons. Keep it PG. Oh, I, I, this is not a PG channel, but, uh, no racism, no attacks, no insults, nothing like that. Nothing like that. Mm -mm. This is not a PG channel, though. Joshua, what you said before was, was on the, on the side of racists, what I removed before. You're not allowed to be racist here. So if it, if you had to retract your message because you were racist, then that's a problem. So you should really reflect on yourself. Oh, you got me, Brandy. Hello, this is Papyrus. Remember when I asked you about clothes? Well, the friend who wanted to know her opinion of you is very murdery. But I bet you knew that already. And because you knew that, I told her what you told me you were wearing. A gross vantage, because I knew, of course, after such a suspicious question, you would obviously change your clothes. You're such a smart cookie. That, this way, you're safe and I didn't lie. No betrayal anywhere. Being friends with everyone is easy. If you say so, Papyrus. Okay, Washua, give me a nice clean, uh, clean me up. Bum 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 ba ba da da. No! Oh, I didn't. I didn't get it. Friends with a little bird. Ugh, I missed it. I need to get hit one of the green ones. Ow! 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 You're not racist. <laughs> well. If it, think of it this way, Joshua. If your joke might offend somebody, anyone, if it has the potential to offend someone, don't say it. Even, even if that person would never hear it, or that kind of person, if it has the potential to offend someone, that's all you need to do. It's over. <laughs> no, but you guys can, like, Cuss and whatnot. I'm not gonna. You're not gonna get banned for that. You, um, don't say that. Come on. I promise I won't laugh. I have very luscious hair. Thank you. Once, let me let me do something. Let me do like this. Look, is it still as luscious if I do this? Look at this. Perfect, right? I I love how I try to mess it up and it doesn't look absolutely terrible. It just it's just more poofy that way. Should I just play like this? <laughs> I need to fix my, um, uh, I need to fix my camera, but that'll be over time. How long is my hair? That long. Almost like three feet, four feet. Mm hmm, mm hmm. Mm, hold on. Now I need to make it look decent. 
I'm trying to I'm trying to make sure that it looked better for you guys because I don't I haven't really done that in a long time You know really cared about making sure my hair looks good and all that <sighs> All right Good enough, whatever you guys like it, right? Am I in game grumps? No. Washua shovels up You ask Washua to clean you it hops around excitedly Clean means clean I need that. Oh, and I survived it. Nice. Perfection. Perfection. Oh, let's go read this. The power to take their souls. This is the power the humans feared. I feel like we're not getting the whole story. <laughs> I didn't read the other parts. So we're not quite getting the same story. I love this guy. This guy is adorable. Ah. Hey there. Noticed you were here. Hi, Onion Sun. Onion Sun, you here. <laughs> You're visiting Waterfall, huh? It's great here. <laughs> You love it, huh? Yeah, me too. It's my big favorite. Ah, uh, we know the water's getting shadow, yeah. I have to sit down all the time, but hey, that's okay. If it's moving to the city, huh? And living in a crowded aquarium. My old friends And the aquarium's full anyway. So even if I wanted to, I that's okay though, you hear? And Dine's gonna fix everything you hear. I'm gonna get out of here. I live in the ocean, ya hear? Ha 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 the end of this room. I'll see you around. Have a good time in Waterfall. <laughs> Poor little guy. Oh my word. I feel so Bought for him. He's so cute. <laughs> wow, Zach. Wow. Shri Shiren hides in the corner, but somehow encounters you anyway. Shiren. Uh, uh, hum. We got a hum, right? You hum a sad song. Shiren follows your melody. See, Ray. So Oh, 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 crap, 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 crap. Let me along. Chiron seem music's much more comfortable singing along. And then we just let you go. Oh, my word. Whew. Oh, wait a second. There's a piano here. Play it? Yes. Uh, okay, no, I don't remember the tune. We have to go hit the other thing first. The gay is strong. Hey, gay here is okay. The gay here is okay. Be careful not to overshare or make people feel uncomfortable. Uh, because we are trying to make everybody feel comfortable. And if anybody does feel uncomfortable, they might leave the stream. And that just problem. Definitely want to make sure everybody is comfortable here the whole time. But gay is okay. You are the gay. You are like gay. You are like gay. Uh, it's a statue. The structures at... Uh, it feet seem dry. Yeah, we need to go to the next room. Take an umbrella? You betcha. You took an umbrella. Cat laughs because people are if people in her chat are always made to feel uncomfortable. So many penis jokes. <laughs> no, you don't do that many penis jokes. It used to be a huge thing, you know, her penis. <laughs> <laughs>
No, cat cat used to have penis jokes uh as her main as her as her uh like um her member badges her penises back in the day that was funny good old back in the day put the umbrella on the statue you place the umbrella atop the statue mm. inside the statue a music box begins to play Aww. Na 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 Okay, let's go play it on the piano. All right, let's go play this now. Let's go here and now we shall play it. There's a piano here. Play it, yes. Oops, I did it wrong. Oh, we opened up the door. It's a legendary artifact. Will you take it? Guys, should we take this? Are we, are we, are we going to take this? Uh, Hold on. Wait, do we have any of the... I'm not seeing any of our resident uh, Undertale people in the chat, actually. Who is the last person in the chat that really knows Undertale? That we... uh, uh, that actually... Okay. You don't remember what it is? It's a dog. Uh, we get this out, and then it's a dog that, like, dies and gives its fur or something. I can't remember. Something like that. Something like a dog uh, that disappears or something. You're carrying too many dogs. Yes, too many dogs. Uh, Something like that. Annoying dog. Oh, right. Annoying dog. A dog. A little white dog. It's fast asleep. Item. Drop dog. Use. You deployed the dog. The dog absorbs the artifact and runs away. <laughs> I forgot about that. The artifact is gone. I forgot about the annoying dog. I forgot. I don't remember what any of that stuff. Hi, bye, Toby. <laughs> right. Mm -hmm. Yo, you can't hold an umbrella either if you're walking anyway. I guess I'll go with you. <laughs> oh, I never, I always have an umbrella during this part. Oh my word, guys, I always have an umbrella during this part. Bro, I have not, I have not done this without an umbrella before. That's so funny. Have I seen Delta Gen? I've never seen anything pacifist or Delta or pa pacifist or genocide of Delta Rune. In fact, I've never even heard of it, which I mean is silly because of course there's got to be it if it's part, if it's this. I haven't played it. No, no, I haven't, I haven't even done a normal run. Yeah. I haven't even done a normal run of Delta Room, but don't you have to? Isn't there still more chapters to come out, or is it fully out now? Man, Undyne is so cool. She beats up bad guys and never loses. If I was a human, I would wet the bed every night, knowing she was gonna beat me up. <laughs> Just watch it. Hmm.
<laughs> so, one time we had a school project where we had to take a, a care of a flower. The king, we had to call him Mr. Dreamer, volunteered to donate all his own flowers. He ended up coming to the school and teaching the class about responsibility and stuff. That got me thinking. Yo! How cool would it be if Undyne came to school? She could beat up all the teachers! <laughs> what a kooky little kid. Ah! Uh, maybe she wouldn't beat up the teachers. She's too cool to ever hurt an innocent person. You'd help, but you only played this once a bajillion years ago. Yeah, I've I haven't played a past fist run in a long time, and definitely want to hear for the Delta Rune playthrough. Yeah, I mean it really depends on um it depends heavily on whether or not people just want to watch it. Unfortunately, uh, I am worried that there's just not enough interest in me playing this game for us to continue it because I need to try to find whatever's successful for the channel, unfortunately. Uh, I don't I don't want to just play games that I enjoy because uh, I really got to make this... I got to make this a success this year. <laughs> Yo, this ledge is too steep. Yo, you want to see I'm dying, right? Climb on my shoulders. The YouTube game, unfortunately. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I haven't looked at statistics today, but based on the chat, I'm guessing today is going to be much like it was yesterday and we might not be able to continue it. But we're just going to continue on staying positive. Don't worry about me. I'll find a way to get through. <laughs> what a cute little guy. What a cutie. The serene sound of a distant music box. It fills you with determination. Exactly. Yeah, a cat has a point, Tiger. Cat does have a point. Do I have like an all-time favorite game? I have a lot of games that I consider very good. Um, all-time favorite would be very hard for me, but I do have uh, I do have favorite games. Like, I like uh, Sea of Thieves. I think that's a really great game. Uh, I like Subnautica. I like, you know, Breath of the Wild, Tears of the Kingdom. Um, I like just so many games. Wow, there's a lot of games. What have I been playing off stream? I don't really want to play games off stream. So really what I do when I play games off stream is just to forget about any problems I have in my life, which is way too many. Uh, and I just play Apex, which just causes me more problems, honestly. More problems with the people that are completely incapable of thinking critically. They get so uh, aggravating. Do I need a rant? No, no, my... My problems are not your guys' problems. <laughs> yeah, I got, I got problems, uh, a million problems, and you guys don't. You guys don't need to be part of that. I What I need to do is create content that you guys enjoy. And, well, or, you know, you guys want to see as well. Uh, Cat, obviously, you're a different story because you're a fellow streamer. Which, guys, if you guys don't know who Miss Snap Click Cat is, Mrs. Snap Click Cat. I keep calling her Miss, but she is Mrs. Snap Click Cat these days. Um, please go check her out. I'm hanging out in her streams all the dang time. Aw, thanks, Cat. I'll say hi to Puff for you. But yeah, go check out Cat. I'm in her streams all the time. Uh though, be prepared for a much more uh I care uh uh sh her her chat will be a little bit more adult than her chat is. So hey, you might like that. It's still a good time. A great time. I'm not too adult myself, you know, which is funny. Which is ironic, seeing as my name started from a uh, an adult topic. <laughs> no kids. Yeah, exactly. Generally not want to, don't want to have kids around. Have I played Raft? I have, and beaten it.
I'm good. I'm good. No, oh, I think I'm fine. I think I'll be fine. I'm pretty sure I'll be fine. Ah, oh. whoo! You're on a countdown, are you? In Raft, I built a pirate ship. It was awesome. It was amazing. Dang, dude. <coughs> it was a tough one. It got me. All right, let's do this. Kids that you know of? Oh, there probably are, but they're not supposed to be. I can't control who watches the stream. I can, we can ban people that are uh, obviously underage. Oh, I stood right in front of it! Stood there. Ah, oh, I need to go down this way. Dang it. Ah, this is the wrong way. This is it. No, I have to go down. Ah, I'm totally going to lose here. We have to go down here and around. Oh my word. That's my own fault. Fudger monkey. Ooh. That was my fault, my fault. You know, that's the first time I think I've ever actually lost on that part, but I'm just so out of practice. Man, maybe I should be using the stick and not the D-pad. Yeah, you will always be considered a child to your parents, even if you are a hundred million years old. A hundred billion! A million billion! Oh crap, that was close. Mm. Mm. Oh, how did I not get hit with that? Dang it. Dang it. Dang it, I keep doing it wrong. Whoa, whoa! I shall make it out of here! Okay, we got it. We got it. We got it. Fudgy monkey? I said fudger monkey. And nobody's ever said that. That's the first one. I, I'm I'm the only one that I've known, ever known to say that. So I'm sorry that it's racist where you're from. It's certainly not racist where I'm from. You know what's racist? There are things that are racist in other countries that we do every single day in America. Did you know that? Fudge monkey. Well, it's a it's a local term for you because uh yeah, I don't know. I don't know. The first thing I would think of with a fudge monkey is a monkey that's throwing its poo at you. <laughs> hey! Mrs. Snapclick Cat, thank you so much for 33 months. Guys, get a hashtag in the chat for Cat and her 33 months. Oh, thank you so much, Cat. What's up, Kydris? You look like you got great headbanging here. Could you hit a windmill? Not right now. Not right now. I'll give myself a headache and my table and stuff is really close to me and my microphone, so I'd probably hit into it. 
Maybe, maybe, maybe we'll do, maybe I'll do that for, uh, headbangs give you, they do give me a killer headache. Honestly, they give me a headache really fast. Does that mean we all, uh, no, they always have. They always have. Like, I don't know, maybe my brain is loose in my head or something, but yeah, for sure. Uh, I've had long hair for, you know, almost 20 years now. So how long have I had long hair? I started growing it when I was 15. So yeah, coming close on, coming close on 20 years that I've had longer hair. Yep. Never cut it either. It's been this long though for, you know, 15 of those years. Never cut it. Just let it stay this long. Ba, 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 ba. You can remove that comment of Joshua. Do, 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 do. It sounds like it came from over there. My metalhead. I like all music. So, yes. Yeah. <laughs> do, do, do. Uh, but yeah, I like all types of music. Metal head, more like, wait, pot head. Oh, sick burn, got me. Uh, yeah, it was actually when I was around 18 that my, uh, that my girlfriend at the time got me into breathers. We did a lot of drinking, um, but, uh, but then I stopped drinking after a while and just sat there just with breathers for a long time forever actually since since then what am i talking about not not for a long time but since then no negativity yeah try to be more positive joshua and yeah if you if you live in a place that is naturally racist which is in america we're not going to get into politics but it's systematically racist in here and that is the point joshua the fact that you live in an area where it is okay to be like that think about it joshua what you're talking and all the people you talk to that live around you and that your family and friends, they all think that's okay, right? And that's why that's why you say it so naturally and you're just like so and you're so okay with these jokes is because that gets laughs where you probably live or live near and it won't get laughs on in with the mass majority of people. It's just people that are bigoted that find that kind of stuff funny. Right? I won't find anything racist even remotely funny. I won't find anything sexist remotely funny. I won't. I don't even find fart jokes funny. Um, sometimes I can find a fart joke funny. Sometimes I find dirty jokes funny, but they have to be right time, right, right, right time, right place, right? They can be funny, but they have to be done at the right time. Have a great night, Kidris. Thank you so much for stopping by. Uh, let me get back into the game really quick. Uh, how, how, wait, hold on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's get back in the game. Sounds like it came over here. Oh, you've fallen down. Oh, this is Toriel, isn't it? Oh, you've fallen down, haven't you? Are you okay? Here? Get up. Lisk, huh? That's a nice name. My name is... Oh, no, that's, that's the kid. That's the kid. That's the kid. Uh, that's as that's Azriel, right? That wasn't Torio. That was Azriel that talked to us right there. Hundred percent agree. And uh, and when it comes to that, when it comes to a, where we grow up and whatnot, that's something that some the more obvious one is that even in my area, it was okay to say something was gay, right? They would say it in a derogatory way. Uh, my where even in my area they don't do that anymore. But it was a point at one point. It was a thing at one point in time. And then that just promotes a... Uh, that just promotes a negative feeling whenever you're talking about somebody that is gay, right? And that kind of joking doesn't work anymore. Uh, and I, I certainly don't find it funny. I, uh, maybe when I was younger, I thought it, thought it was funny. But I was also racist when I was a kid. So when I was when I was 19 and younger, uh, I I did not have the same values I do today, at all. Not not at all. I was I didn't like Mexican people. I probably I probably said gay, and even my even though my even though I have a gay brother, so you know, heck he would he would call things gay, 
as a derogatory thing. <laughs> so, you know, any case, we don't we don't do that now. <clears throat> Piles of garbage. There's quite a few brands you recognize. Just garbage. The waterfall here seems to flow from flow from the ceiling of the cavern. Occasionally, a piece of trash will flow through and fall into the bottomless pit below. Viewing this endless cycle of worthless garbage fills you with determination. <laughs> classic, classic, endless garbage. Classic, classic, endless garbage, I say. Uh-oh. Um... And even you do, yeah, so Zach, and that's a whole thing. It's just natural to want to say this, be the way that people around you are. Um, and it makes it feel like it's okay. But that's why I try to get people to think critically all the time. It is so important to think critically. You know, just because somebody is your best friend or even your parent or, or your, or the mo or, Neil frickin' DeGrasse Tyson, who you can just believe what he says. Don't. He's going to be wrong. People are going to be wrong. And you have to accept that. You have to accept that people are wrong. You have to, you can come to the same conclusions they do, but don't just accept information for as it is to be true, right? You can accept a lot of things to be true because you don't really need to focus on it. But when it comes to really important stuff like hurting others you should always think about it you know always think about it as best as you can and try to reflect on it the hardest part about critical thinking is not seeing it in yourself it's changing it about yourself and uh, and i'll and i'll use myself an example again i did not like mexican people when i was uh when i was younger and it's not that i didn't have mexican friends i grew up in a very mexican popular uh mexican uh, heavy area. So, um, uh, is I, I, there was a lot of Mexicans in my school and all that. So the thing is, is that they would say things about, they would look at me and say things in Spanish about me and laugh or whatever. And I didn't know what they said, but that always gave me a bad taste from a very young age about Mexicans. But then when I was 19, I had plenty of Mexican friends, but in my mind, all these friends that were Mexican were the good ones, right? And then I just had this epiphany where I'm like, well, no, no. The, my friends are not the good ones. My friends are, are not the exception. They're the rule. The exception are the people that are mean and they're mean everywhere. You know, they're mean, like you got white people, mean white people, you got mean black people, you got mean Mexicans, but they're, they're the exception. Not, not the other way. Not the other way around. What's up, Soth? Why I hate you? No, but Kat, that's a great example. You do. You, have you ever felt any racial hate from me, Kat? Knowing that you're a Mexican, or you have Mexican heritage, um, have you ever felt any racial hate from me? Ever, even once in the eight plus years you've known me? You know, probably n not once. Not once. Because it's that was all well before I was ever... You know, I, w I had plenty of, I grew in a really multiracial area. I, I had lots of people that were black friends. I had a lot of black friends. I had a lot of Mexican friends, Asian. Uh, you know, I had friends that were, that were cheerleaders and jocks and people that played Magic the Gathering. <laughs> that I'm very tall. You mean shorter than you? I'm not that tall. Am I am I about as tall as as Francis? I don't uh, I don't know how tall Francis is. I definitely definitely was so much shorter than you. So much shorter, guys. When when I saw Cat, she had to duck in the hallways of this place. It was crazy. It was crazy. She's all like, "Yeah, let me get that drink for you." <laughs> uh, that was still a cool place, Cat. Uh, the, uh, that arc, that arcade place, pretty cool. Very tall, so tall. She reached the ceilings, so tall, guys. And don't let anybody tell you differently. 
Uh, stoner kids made friends. Well, I was in my high school. I was the popular kid. Um, I was in like you might not realize it, but I was a goth. Uh, not only was I the gothic kid, I didn't call myself goth. That was what everybody else called. Me. I didn't call myself. Goth. I didn't even call myself anything. I just was who I was. Um, and I was considered the popular kid because everybody in school knew me. Uh, I was like the centerpiece of this thing we called the group, which was just a, a bunch of cliques that all hung out together. It, you know, you would see cheerleaders learning how to play Magic the Gathering, for example, right? Uh, in these, in this, in, in our group. And then I didn't start it. It was actually my older brother and his friends that kind of started this group because, you know, he, he... Uh, he would. He had friends that were like uh, football, football people, theater people, and all these people became uh, became a group together. And then, like I was, I kind of was the, like the last remaining part of that group. And then when I got expelled from my high school, um, that group just fell apart. It just it just completely dissipated, and everybody went their separate ways. Is what I was told. Um, I didn't actually stop leaving. Go I still had a lot of friends. So even though I was expelled, uh, so I got expelled. I immediately went and got my GED within two weeks. Uh, and then when, after I got my GED, I didn't stop going to the, the school. I had friends there. <laughs> I was, I was, I had fun. Uh, so I would, con I would still go back to the school. Um, I would still go back to the school and then uh, and still hang out with my friends and they would be like bro Okay, they didn't say bro. This is not some this is not a time where people said bro, but um the all the security guards uh, they they uh, They took me in and then they made me sign this thing that said that I understand That the if I come on school grounds that I could be arrested that's when that's when I was told that I could be arrested for coming on school grounds anymore. So that's when I stopped. And then I just hung out outside the school grounds and waited for my friends for a little bit until I eventually became mall rat. I eventually went to go do I went and I made new friends at the mall and became a, a mall rat, which eventually uh, I became the mall rat king, which is a whole other story. Uh, I've said it a lot guys. I've been I've been very popular my whole life. So I am very Like I'm very comfortable with being alone and like that's why I'm not very active on discord or anything I don't I have spent so much of my life talking to other people and all that stuff I don't mind doing it as like streaming and content creation, but I hate having people around me all the time I hate it. I, it's, it's been my whole life It's been my whole life Needed this mall rat king story later. Oh, there's a mall, mall rat king. Yeah, uh, there was there's a lot of stories There's a lot of stories involved with me me being a mall rat uh, This is prior to um, prior to my college days and prior to my um, The uh, my party house. I, I had a townhouse that was known as the party house. We partied for like seven months straight no it wasn't that long it was more like four four to five months maybe straight just drinking party people there every night we just had parties after parties uh it was me and my girlfriend that shared it uh at the time uh we both were on the lease and i got uh, i got evicted from there yeah who, who knew who knew <laughs> who knew i'd get evicted that created a whole mess of problems in my life for many years <laughs> many years did that create problems it's all a big but i have i have so many hundreds of stories that uh that i don't know if i can tell you guys like sometimes i can like i can tell you mall rat stories like one time uh i had the straight jacket i had the straight jacket i actually still have it it's right up there um you know what i can grab it why not why not? I'll grab it. I'll grab the straight jacket so you can see what I'm talking about. One second.
Okay, so this is my straight jacket. Same one from high school. Um, and you can see as these things that go across. And then um the, the sleeves come out and then they, they go down like this. So then my arm is really long. See that. Um, so, one day, I was, uh, hanging out with my friend, at the time, name redacted, you guys don't need to know her name, uh, but her, we were just hanging out, and, uh, I went up to some guy sitting on the phone, I went up to some guy sitting out the, <laughs> sitting on a bench on his phone. And I, and I have this tied up, my arms around me like this. Can we call her Steve? Sure. We can call her Steve. So I had my arms up like this, and the sleeves were attached uh, around me, or what appeared to be. And I just walked up to this guy, and I just walked up to him with my sleeves like this, and I just stared at him. And he's sitting there on his phone. He's like, yeah, uh-huh. Mm -hmm. What What do you need? Yeah, uh, yeah, okay, okay. And then he turns to, towards me, he's like, yeah, yeah, uh, hold on, hold on. Can I help you? And then I, and then I flip my arms out like this, and I start flapping them and jumping. I'm free! I'm free! I'm free! And then I start jumping around, and then I fall to the ground, get back up, and I start jump over the, around the, around the corner and go, I'm free! I'm free! It was hilarious. It was, it was good times, good times. Um, uh, safe to say that I actually knew the, uh, all the security guards by name, all of them, every single one of them. Um, uh, I can't, I can't give any personal stories about what them, what they are because of, uh, privacy reasons, but, uh, some, I, like, I got to know the security guards pretty good. Um, you know, I have so many stories, uh, that I just can't tell you guys because they're inappropriate or private. Um, what's another one? Like another one would be, uh, I was skateboarding at this time. I was skateboarding around this time and, uh, the security guard, one I already knew at this time, uh, he came, he came up to me and he says, I see you got that skateboard name redacted. Um... Don't, don't you dare ride it for even a second in here or something like that. And then I'm like, okay, I throw the skateboard down and I immediately get on it and start scroll rolling down the halls. <laughs> I was kicked out that day. Slight, a slight kick out that day. Um... I was kicked out that day. Uh, but it's not the it's not the best it's not one of my best stories, you know. I was mistaken for a gang leader. <laughs> so, uh, as the mall rat king, I was actually mistaken as a leader of a gang. True story. And you want to know how it happened? So stupid, bro. So stupid. <laughs> so, uh, uh, as I said, I was considered mall rat king. I'm sitting there on one of the chairs, uh, on one of the couches that is sitting, you know how they have those couches in the middle of them. And, um, and I had a really bad day. My girlfriend at the time was moving away to a different state and, uh, she was no, uh, she was obviously breaking up with me. So I wasn't, um, I wasn't having a good day at all. So I had two, two of my female friends were cuddling on me to try to make me feel better. And I was sitting there on the couch like this. And I have a whole group of friends around me, a whole group of friends. And then all the, and then they're all like, they're all, they're all mall rats. Like we're not, we're not hostile or anything. We're just like mall rats. We're just hanging out there. Uh, and then 
some of them go to a store to do something and uh, a group of them said that they were going to go get some food at the food court and so they all went their separate directions they all grouped in around me <laughs> they all grouped in around me and then they all talked to me and then they all left and then i said guys i'm not feeling it i'm just gonna head out i'm just gonna head out okay <clears throat> now <laughs> i go in there I go, uh, uh, I start leaving the place. I walk out the door of a store and up comes and pulls a police officer, pulls up right in front of me, stops and asks for my ID. And then out comes the head security guards. Out comes the absolute head security guard of the entire mall. And he's like, we heard reports of possible gang-like activity and you see you seem to be the head of this and i'm just like i'm just like so shocked i'm just so shocked about this uh they asked for my id they asked for things that were going on uh i just told them you know the truth you know <laughs> like and i didn't have any i don't have anything to hide uh and then they ended up letting me go and then they i guess they went and followed up uh, with the people in the food court and that was that and then they thought I was, but what they said they saw from their specific, uh, from their perspective, what happened was they saw on the camera, there was a camera up on, up on the ceiling. Of course there is the freaking mall. Why wouldn't there be the camera is just sitting there seeing all of what happened without any audio. So what would that lead them to conclude that I'm some sort of gang leader? <laughs> uh, I mean, hey, if I was in their position, I'd probably think the same thing too. <laughs> like, like, I mean, it's, it's just crazy that that even happened. Oh, uh, man. Goodness, yeah. Well, I mean, I have I have so many stories that, uh, yeah. Oh man, um, I could I could bog you guys down with stories for days. I have, um, I, I mean, I obviously don't get too much in my life's detail, my my detailed details of my life for obvious reasons of privacy, um, but uh, the thing is, is that I that. Like I've talked, when I used to talk to people before I streamed, I used to tell them stories for hours and then they would tell me things like, man, you are <laughs> you are one of the most interesting people I have ever met. And I'm just like, sure. <laughs> sure, you say so. Uh, but yeah, no, I can't, I can't. Cause there's a lot of, there's a lot of personal information. Uh, you know, friends, friends doing things they shouldn't lie. A lot of friends doing things. A lot of a lot of friends doing things they shouldn't be doing in places they shouldn't be doing it in. <laughs> so many. Oh my word. Um, we were hooligans. Heck, I am still a hooligan. Um, there's a lot of things that I can share. Maybe I should think of more that I can share, like on, uh, on, online. You know, like I share things like uh, Y13 is my um. Why 13 is my lucky number. Uh, um, it's a whole whole story about why 13 is my lucky number. And I don't even believe in lucky numbers. It's not about that, though. This is a weird Zelda game. What's up there, Collector? Uh, we actually finished Tears of the Kingdom. Um, so we can't... That one's not anymore. Yeah. Not Tears of the Kingdom. Maybe we can do another Tears of the Kingdom run here soon understandable did i beat ganon up on this one then yeah yeah we just we just we just kicked the crap out of ganon and now we're about to go fight voldemort yeah yeah and then right after voldemort we're gonna meet up with the avengers and make sure we take out all of the decepticons you know not leaving even one not again because if we leave even one decepticon they will revive the dead Okay? And then and then Daryl will come out and save us, okay? But that but we can't rely on Daryl, okay? We just can't. It's the new 1.2 of TOTK, right? <laughs> they killed your man Bumble. 
The freaking Decepticons, I tell you. The freaking Decepticons. Yeah, so uh, unfortunately, um, most of you will never hear the story of my storied life. Maybe, maybe, maybe someday, maybe someday I'll, I'll be large enough to where they'll want to do a biopic of my life. But I, I consider my life, while people have said that my life is an interested, is an interesting story, uh, se series of stories, I could, I would argue that my mother's life was way more interesting than mine and, uh, and, or is more interesting and that, uh, much more story. I've, t I've told her to make a, to make a book of her life. My, my life, my life is, uh, a series of lucky events. So, you know, I've gotten really lucky, uh, with a lot of things in my life and I try to not take them for granted, you know? I try my hardest to not take the amount of luck I truly have. The only places I get unlucky are like in video games, which matter. <laughs> like, okay, that's fine. That's fine. I don't mind. <laughs> in any case, hey guys, um, uh, let, I think we're... You're not a Bruins fan. You would love it if Penguins win. Oh, there you go, Tiger. You got a you got a fan of the Penguins there. And then we have to go help the Justice League stop Thanos. You heard it here, folks. Zach is right. Okay, guys. Um, so thank you so much for joining. That I think will be a uh, end of today because we've went a little over the two hour mark. Let's see uh the st the the statistics of things. Okay, I'm seeing that today went a little bit better than yesterday, but it's still not really what I would call successful. So what we may do is I think we'll go ahead and continue this. We'll give it we'll give it maybe one more day. We'll just try to we'll try to do this a couple more days and see if I can't hmm fix 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 the part of it <laughs> i don't know i don't know i don't know if this is going to be a, a um i'm using tags yet yeah, for what yeah i'm using tags um maybe i need to change my thumbnail because i saw mega harv do an undertale run and and pudge okay so this is the thing pudge 007 did a tears of the kingdom blind run and there's lots of people that enjoy that and then mega Heart did a undertale blind run and again lots of people are enjoying this my problem is is that i've already played these games and i already know how to go through them for the most part so you know i i don't know what i'm doing wrong but i thought that how i would how i was running these would be fun just taking these games on that other people it seems like a lot of people enjoy it right they're all getting put on it seeing hundreds and hundreds of people on all of their streams i didn't think we would get no hundreds here but i was thinking maybe at least 30 or 40 people concurrently that really want really enjoyed the undertale you know and then maybe with the potential to go higher but what i'm seeing right now is there's less people interested uh less people are interested in my undertale playthrough than they were with my t with my Zelda's playthrough, you know. And then I'm just left to wonder what I'm doing. What's what's wrong? What's wrong? What about classic? Yeah. So that's what I think we'll do. Either like to, maybe tomorrow. Maybe we just come back to Undertale later. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe we come back to Undertale later because all of the Undertale fans that came in here, they all left. They're not here anymore. Um, <laughs> let's let's be real. Not one of the people that was talking about Undertale earlier is still here. They've all they've all left. The people that are left here are all people that just like, you know, my style of streaming, my comedy. You guys, you guys, you guys, you know, you know who you are because you're awesome. Um, you're an Undertale fan. Yeah, but you're not here because of Undertale. You like Undertale, but Undertale is a byproduct of why you're here, Brett. You're here because you like the community more. And that's great. That's fantastic. Honestly, Community is fantastic. You guys are a fantastic community. You keep being you because you're awesome.
but I still I still do have to find games that bring more people in this community so that we stop getting people that say sorry I wasn't here yesterday I was busy with life because it just made again as I said at the beginning it makes me feel bad it makes me feel bad because you shouldn't be seeing me as somebody that you need to support and if you're apologizing to me that tells me that you're only here to support me you should be here because you're entertained because you like being around the community you shouldn't be here because it's a job <laughs> exactly ro that's exactly what i'm saying you guys shouldn't watch me because i suck <laughs> oops that's the wrong button <laughs> <laughs> uh, raider no 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 spammer spammer he's not he's not a raider we we don't want to mix those up because people that are that do raids uh that's a positive we want to make sure that that stays a positive thing. yeah um in any case uh i don't know guys maybe we could do like a mario 64 speed run or a mario odyssey speed run tomorrow and kind of brainstorm the next direction we go um because they will um yeah people like those and they're one game they're one stream deals is a raid basically many people spamming no 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 a raid is where we go into another streamer's stream and you would type it once for us you would only type it once some content creators will tell you to spam i won't ever tell you to spam I'll say only put it once just to let them know you're there if you want to. Even so, I don't require you guys to even hashtag anything because the point of a raid is not for me to get recognition for the raid. The point of the raid is for you to got you guys to have more content that you fully enjoy. It's very important to me that you guys have the content uh, content that you like to enjoy. And it's my job as a person who is uh, on YouTube creating content to keep you on YouTube. <laughs> so the whole point is, um, okay, Tiger, can, uh, yeah, go, be on top of it. Thanks, Tiger. You got this. You got this. Tiger's got it. Uh, okay, so, but the whole point of it is, oh, actually, you know what? I just realized... You can ban the last two accounts. I only time them out, but yeah, you can ban them. Who is that guy? Uh, probably somebody who will be here on another 500 accounts. It's okay, guys. Uh, best thing you guys need to do is if anybody comes into the chat and spams or anything like that, 100% ignore them, and I will ignore them as well. And then they stop really quickly. Do, 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 do. just completely ignore them pretend that they don't exist and they'll leave this person has already been here and they've made obviously made new accounts they got bored really quickly last time because uh they were completely 100 percent ignored they didn't even use this many accounts last time again the only reason why they're using more accounts this time is because i made a joke about it um and because i made a joke about him he'll be in here is uh he'll be in here with probably another 20 30 accounts right it's okay let him let him waste his time i mean what what good does it do him we're about to end the stream anyways uh everybody here you're gonna be here whether or not <laughs> whether or not the game is good you know you guys are already here you guys are already here you already know what it's like it's pretty it's kind of silly for anybody to try to convince others to not be a part of something that they're already enjoying you know you know it's that it doesn't make sense to me because like is he does he does this person think that they could convince people that enjoy their time here to not be here what i don't under <laughs> i don't understand the logic how how can you how can you convince somebody that like what <laughs> no 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 zach we don't insult okay we're we're gonna we're i'm gonna remove your comment there you're okay you're not in trouble or anything but we don't we don't we don't attack them we don't attack them i might i might poke fun uh i might poke fun at them but we try not to attack them because um they would not treat us the same they would not treat us the same we try to treat them with kindness um i will poke fun at them 
uh, especially to try to get them to realize their actions because they can change their actions. They can't. No, you're cool. You're you're good, Zach. You're good. You're good. You're good. Um, you know, because they will. Uh, they can change. They might not ever change, but for us or for this channel, but eventually they will. Eventually they will, or they'll or they'll be shunned by everybody they ever meet. So it's really up to them whether they want to be a social pariah or a part of something. You know. And the more they, they, more they separate themselves from these communities by attacking people, the lonelier they get. And then that's, and the more anger they have towards other people, therefore they lash out more with more hatred. Like, and they just kind of build this up until they were like, wait a second, maybe I can make friends by being kind to people. Huh. Oh no. Oh no, he's just lonely. He's just... People like that are very lonely, um, and they want somebody to hang out with. Um, it's unfortunate we can't just keep him around because he's just not going to, he's, he, he's not in the mindset to reach that yet, right? So, um, yeah, just don't give him, if you see anybody like that, just don't give him the benefit. And just don't give them the benefit of feeling like they've won anything. Because the more they feel like they are embarrassed and lose, the more the more likely of a chance that they'll change uh, themselves, right? Uh, humiliation is the most effective form of um, of teaching somebody. It's not necessarily the best, but it's the most effective. Um, it, humiliation is people will remember a humiliating moment forever. The more humiliating a moment the longer it'll stick with them. And if they're, and it, again, it may not be the best form of learning, but sometimes it's the only way uh, some people can learn. Until the day and age now where shame, where people have no shame, they then they never learn. They literally never learn. Because if you have to learn through humiliation and you're completely, you cannot be shamed under any circumstance, then you will never learn. <laughs> not through humiliation. Maybe through defeat, but not through humiliation. Um, humil shame, shame has been a shaper of human social interactions forever. And only recently is shame no longer a thing. You know, because, uh, and I'm just using this as a term, I don't mean anybody as, a, as an idiot as I say this, but the village idiot, which is the, is the term people use for like, the person that is like not there the outsider well they have they those sorts of people have all made their own found their own group uh and formed their own village and so then they have a safe place to where nobody humiliates them for being different yeah shame on you shame is shame is an effective tool uh, but again, unfortunately, um, there are people today are shameless. They are told that they are perfect in every way and that uh, and that anything they do is okay because they'll be forgiven um, and that it doesn't matter what ma uh, about anybody else, but they're they're special and unique and everybody should give them the love they feel they deserve. you know and I don't really agree with that. I think we should be realistic and think if you make mistakes, you you admit that you made a mistake and you accept it. You accept that you did something wrong, you change something about it. And feel bad about ma making social mistakes because otherwise you just don't survive. You don't survive, I mean in the in the world of the internet at least. Uh not against not with other people. It, uh as we were talking about earlier, it happens regionally. So you can find so, something can be ex more acceptable somewhere else in the country, like say in America wise, something can be acceptable in where I'm, I'm at, but not acceptable somewhere else or acceptable somewhere else, but not acceptable here, socially speaking. You had to step out. Yeah, no worries, Joshua. No worries. 
Um, sorry, but I'm got I'm getting all sorts of off topic here, and I've just been sitting here talking <laughs> talking to you guys for like I don't even know how long. Um, yeah. So podcasts, and tell you what, tell you what, I will I will tell you right now. If we get the channel to a million subscribers, which in my mind will never happen, uh, but I'll but that doesn't mean I won't try, but. If the if that was to ever happen, then I might think about doing um, stories with Kink and just go through my life stories. I have I have way too many. I have way too many life stories guys, uh, that m most of you have never heard. Um, and uh, I used to do vlogs where I told probably about like fifteen various stories and then i stopped doing those vlogs you know like i i have a whole story of why being expelled from high school was one of the best things that could happen to me <laughs> for example i know right what a story what a story that could be sit down in front of a fireplace with like with the like glasses and a button-up sweater and a, and a and a thing of wine <laughs> Do you want to join the dark side? You're okay, Joshua. You're okay. Well, I mean, you know, Joshua, in your position, but for not the same reasons, uh, you know, you can you can make the changes in yourself that you want to be. For for exactly what I'm talking about is the um, exactly what we're talking about, like there, like Tiger. I use Tiger as example. Um, I, Tiger, I hope you don't mind being used as an example. I use you as an example a lot because you really have come a long way. Tiger used to get in trouble in other streams. Um, and he, he used to be very troublemaker and being like, uh, and, you know, making inappropriate jokes and things like that. And then here, I didn't ban him. I just gave him a place to, to make the change in himself if he wanted to. And as you can see, he's he's now a mod and one of the only ones. So you can, as you can see, he definitely has changed and he's become an upstanding young young gentleman. I I am proud of Tiger. Fake kink. There's yeah, it's I've only seen it, you know, like two hundred times. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen so many fake kinks. Uh, we'll get fake. We'll, uh, there's been fake brandies. There's been fake tigers. There's been fake everybody. Every if you're, uh, I mean, it's okay. But again, with that stuff, guys, don't respond to those because that's just gonna. That's only gonna. That that's what they want. So from now on. You see a fake me in the chat, you see somebody spamming, you see somebody being negative or something, and you feel like they're about to get timed out, just ignore them 100%. Pretend you never saw anything. And they'll just, and the me or the mods will quietly deal with it, and they will just give up. They'll just straight give up within, within a couple of minutes. You know, because it's just not worth their time without getting a reaction. You know, they're just, it's really, it's, uh, you know, you know who the real king is? Oh, it's so funny, Brandy. It's so funny when fake people try to go into other streams as me. Like, there was this one instance where a fake me went into Cat's streams, uh, Snap Click Cat, and Cat knows me well. She knows how I talk, she knows who I am, and then this fake person went into her streams. And just couldn't behave like I could at all. Nobody can behave like I do. It's just, I don't know. There's something, uh, there's just a way I behave in chats. Um, and she's all like, you're obviously not kink. This is very obviously not kink. Because I just, I don't know. I Streamers just know when I, uh, you know, they, they, they start to get a feel for how I talk in chats and stuff. Hey, Red! Thank you so much for the dollar holla! I really appreciate that. Red? 
Are you red from Animal Crossing? Is that what it is? You love story time? Did you like that? Did you did you like story time? I'm glad. But, um, yeah, I mean, I I would have to think about it. I'd have to think about what I can say. Like during my whole period of apartment, uh, there's just there's not necessarily too much I can share, uh, because there's just a lot of personal stories and inappropriate stories that I can't really share online because of other people doing things, uh, or me. Uh, I can share things like I got my girlfriend a stripper pole uh, because she was an ex-stripper and she wanted to, and she wanted me to get her a stripper pole for her birthday one, that year. And I did, we set it up in our living room. You know, uh, but you know, there's not really much I can say. There's just, uh, there's a lot of, there's, there's just things I can't necessarily share on, uh, on stream, you know? There's just a lot I can't, you know? There's a lot of inappropriate stuff going on. One of the fun, one of the, a funny time I can share, one of the funnier times I can share was, um, was one time one of my friends, aim redacted, uh, he said, okay. I need axe spray, toothpaste, a cup, and a lighter. <laughs> just, just comes out. He's just like, okay. <laughs> I need, and just we're all like wondering what the frick he's going to do. He goes, he sprays, he, he sprays the, um, uh, he sprays axe into the cup. He, sp he puts, uh, he puts toothpaste on his stomach. He lights the cup on fire and he puts, he puts the cup on his stomach and it sucks it up in. He su it sucks his skin into the into the cup. It's a random moment. Funny, funniest, funny times. Funny good times. That's that's a tame that's a tame thing. Happen. <laughs> just just random, random. Um, you know, like I used to like people wonder why I have the name Kinky or now Kink. Uh, they're all nicknames. I've had I've had many 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 nicknames in my life. Uh, around the time of my apartment, the nickname that a lot of people called me was actually was God. That was that was the nickname of that time. Um, I used to introduce myself to people very commonly as Bob, which is uh, everybody. I was Bob, Bobber, Bob, Bobberino, Robert, Robert, and Roberto. <laughs> Um, uh, that was, that was a time. That was a time. Uh, Mr. Kinky is actually a name I got in high school. It just kind of stuck. Uh, when I went to go think of my moniker, uh, for gamer tags, um, that one kind of stuck. And it was, it wasn't, had nothing to do with sexual prow prowess, but everything to do with my chains. I was always wearing chains and black, you know, um, I was considered gothic. As I said, um, they, again, they considered me goth. I never considered myself anything. I just uh, was who I was. Um, I mean, and I guess that does make me a goth because like the definition of a goth at that time would have been somebody who doesn't really care what sort of click they fall into. <laughs> that, that's kind of the definition. So at that time, I don't know. I haven't looked it up in many years. I obviously don't have black hair anymore. I don't wear, I do wear all black a majority. It's hard for you to sleep tonight. You're kind of afraid people are going to start canceling you. You shouldn't be worried. Joshua, the only way you can be canceled is if you choose to be canceled, my dude. And again, all because, all because, as I said, people are shameless. Look at all the people that chose to not be canceled. They weren't canceled. <laughs> they were people tried to cancel them but they're just like no <laughs> they're just like no sorry you can't no and they just they just go on without being canceled and they're fine um the only way you could truly be canceled is if you do something terribly wrong if you do something extremely wrong within all of society is the only time that you can get really canceled for it but 
then you should be more than canceled. You should probably be in jail, right? <laughs> you probably face punishment for crimes. Uh, so that's a whole other thing. But for for being for making a racist joke, you can change. Man. You can change. You know, I don't know if that's what that's what it was, but you can always change. Don't be afraid of getting canceled. Um, you know, um, as my mom would say, she would she would say all the time, you know, still still probably does. So I haven't heard her say in a while that, uh, you know, don't be don't be worried about something that you have no control over. As long as you don't commit crimes, you won't get canceled. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, well, you can get canceled for being racist or something. But the thing is, is that the people that choose to allow themselves to be canceled because of it get canceled. They actually get canceled and they just they just fade away in the distance. The people that just say, no, I'm not going to be canceled. They don't get canceled and they just get through it like PewDiePie. PewDiePie could have gotten canceled multiple times. Is he canceled? I would argue he is not canceled. <laughs> <laughs> so many people, especially in the political forum, have done so many things that would have canceled them. But they're shameless. They can't be canceled because their audience is it won't let them be canceled, right? So, you know, uh they would a they would actually have to do something that their audience really really can't do. That. I'm going off topic. I always do. I always go off topic all the time. What's up, Ro Roblox? What's up, Plum? Uh, sorry, guys. I got all the off topic. But yeah, I should be ending the stream now because we are now like an hour and an hour overtime. Hour overtime, which is my fault. My fault. I just I just get to talking. I get to talking. And let's... Guys, I have all these stories and stuff, but... I could sit there and talk to you guys about pretty much any topic that has nothing to do with me. <laughs> I could I could probably talk to you guys about any topic you want that has nothing to do with me. Like the the complexities of microbiology. The intricacies of a of a computer circuit. You know? I love learning. I love knowledge. History of history. I could I could talk to you for hours of the history of history. And why people need to. Mm -hmm. da -da 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 -da. Pokemon, I am not sure. Are you are you like five? Six? I'm trying to guess his age. Very young. Very young. Roblox lover uh solver. Rubik solver. Oh, I thought this said Roblox. Never mind. This Rubik's. Do you do you have a do you have a? I thought I said Roblox. Uh, do you have a? Can you do it in like a less than a minute? Because that I mean, sorry, less than sorry, less than a minute. No, like less than a half a second. People do. Can you see? Do you see those people that solve the Rubik's cube in like, 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 like a second and a half? Like, whoa! They're so fast at it. It's it's insane. They like study it for a second, and then they put it down. And then they hit the timer and... Whoosh. Okay. Thank you guys so much for joining us. By the way, um... Yeah, Zach and Joshua, maybe, um... No, 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 no. So, guys, I'm gonna... So, we're gonna not do so much religious stuff here because not everybody shares your beliefs. And so that's very it's very important that we don't get religious here because religious talk too much will make people that are not religious very uncomfortable. And this is a safe place for everyone. For everyone. People uh people that are religious, people that are not religious, I would even give a I would even give a safe place to trolls if they so choose to have it. Right? So we don't want too much religious. I don't mind you guys having faith and speaking of religion right but just let's let's not dive into deep complex topics about religions or politics for that matter because 
I used to talk about politics a lot, guys. I used to talk about politics a lot, and that was a huge channel killer. <laughs> that was a huge channel killer. I'm excited to think. So, um, yeah, I don't do, I don't talk about politics. Though, that doesn't mean I don't, I just don't do it on a gaming channel. You're tired of politics? You can't be tired of politics. Can't be. Unfortunately, politics is your own, your life. <laughs> it's your life! Whether you realize it or not, it's your life. So you have to pay attention to it. Unfortunately, people don't, and then they make the wrong choices. Um, actually, I will say something political right now. If you take any sort, if you are of voting age and you take any sort of knowledge from me or hold any of my words to heart at dear at all, do not listen to other people about Biden. Biden is one of the best presidents the United States has ever had. And if you don't like him, you're not paying attention. You're letting other people tell you how to think. You're letting the media tell you what to think. You want proof that I'm right? Go watch any of his speeches from start to finish. It's important. Because Biden is one of the best dang presidents this you this United States has ever had the sheer number of accomplishments he's had the sheer number of record-breaking numbers he has had and all I hear is people talk about how bad they think Biden is no let's be the change stop letting people tell you what to think if somebody says he's sleepy ignore them tell them to tell them that they need to go look that they need to watch they need to watch him speech not not out of context and this is important because there's probably a lot of you guys that are like, Joe Biden is sleepy, Joe Biden is old. I don't know why I don't like him, but I just know I don't like him. Because that's what happened to Hillary Clinton. Hillary Clinton was phenomenal. One thing that proved to be no problem at all ruined so much. It gave us four years of problems. And then if you think Trump was a good president, you also need to reflect on what he did. Okay? Okay. I just I just need to I just need you guys to understand that you don't need to take my word for it. But if you heed my words at all, go watch him speak. Go look at the accomplishments he's done and come to your own conclusion. You will come to the same conclusion I did. You will. The only way you can't is if you're listening to everybody who says he's bad. Right? Let's make the change. It just starts fights. This shouldn't start fights. If, if again, if you think I'm wrong here, the problem is not with me. It's with your inability to think critically. Because I've thought about it. I've thought about it a lot. I've thought about it from every possible angle that anybody has ever brought up and, and continues to bring up and always comes to the same conclusion. You always can. So, in the future, if you're of voting age, look into Biden and, and look at him by himself, separately of what you heard of him, separately of, of what, you're, what you think you know about him, okay? Because this is an important election, you know? Braxton, we're, this is the only thing we're talking about. I'm about, I'm done on the politics now. I just needed people to understand that since we were on the point of it because you guys are probably a voting age. And what's really important is that if you guys do this, then maybe you'll tell somebody that's important in your life that doesn't share this opinion or it's not an opinion. It's just fact. Whether you agree with it or not, that's a different story because you just you just disagree with factual information, which I don't understand how you can do that. This is a remote. And then people are like, this isn't a remote. This is a, this is a video control device uh, with batteries, you know? And like, I get really upset. <laughs> Freya, let's go back to continuing having a good time. We're actually about to call it Freya. Freya, thank you so much, Freya. Uh, Freya, guys, can we get a hashtag in the chat for Freya? 
right now uh joshua i'm not going to get a- into anything else about politics at all just it's very important to, it's very important that you understand that you have to think critically when it comes to biden because the world all the media sources are making bad jokes about biden every every media source left wing right wing all of them the, and then all of these people that are saying hmm, i don't know if i like biden no you need to go look at it critically and you will love biden You will love what he's done for the country. You will love everything. You'll love his policies. You'll love what he's done for the country. You'll love the accomplishments he's made. They just don't get, you just don't get told about those things. And it's all because what gets clicks is the hatred of Biden. And as, as does the hatred of Trump, which also can go too far. And I'm, and I'm not a fan of Trump, but I also find myself saying, well, that's a bit unfair to Trump, you know, you know, Sometimes I find myself saying, well, that's unfair that they did that to Trump, but they also do some pretty unfair crap to Biden. Came in the wrong time? No, no, you came at the best time. Freya, thank you so much for that. That's literally all I want you guys to understand. Is just, is just, if you, if you take, if you take anything I say to heart at any point in time, look at Biden with critical thought with an objective mind and separately of people what people tell you i'm not saying i'm not saying you have to vote for him i'm not saying i'm not saying any of that stuff i'm saying be real with yourself don't let other people tell you how to think because i'm positive that a lot of you aren't so happy about biden but you also have no idea what he's done you have no idea you've not you don't like politics so you haven't been paying attention and you just don't want to pay attention because it's annoying. But you have to. Because it is literally the future of our democracy at risk. Buy this rematch? Yeah. You do think about a lot of stuff? I'm glad. And not the media's eyes. It's more important than ever, Zach. Because even the media, they, they, they do that. Also, you might change your membership next month. What is your membership? Wait, wait what level are you? Raya, thank you so much for that. What is your membership? Are you gold? You're not diamond, right? <laughs> I would feel bad if you're diamond and we haven't given you a day. Have a good night, Freya. Yeah, we're actually going to call it here. Uh, I mean, I don't want to get on politics, but that's an important thing for me to tell all people that are of voting age um, because it's very important. And, uh, and the future of America is really the future of the world okay guys really and you may be diamond but that'll be a surprise okay i won't tell me okay <laughs> i won't tell me at all medusa Shh. guys don't tell me that Fred might become a diamond tier next month <laughs> uh, freya all right saying am i in uk no i'm an i'm an american i love america uh, I would love to go visit someday. But no, I've never been out of America. America! I am American, and I think it is the best dang country on the face of this planet. We have our problems, but, you know, we're trying. We're trying, right? Aw, hearts, Freya. Okay, so, um, I don't know, guys. Should we do more Undertale tomorrow? Or should we do Mario? Maybe we should just jump into something Mario related. Uh, I don't know. I'm seeing everybody here that has stayed here this whole stream. Um, none of them, none of you guys are like came in for the Undertale. All of you guys that are still here, still chatting and hanging out with us, are um, are not people that came in through Undertale. And everybody who came in today because of Undertale have all left. So that just tells me that uh, the people that will come in for Undertale won't give me a chance to, won't give us a chance. They won't give us a chance, our community a chance. Um, so they they may they might subscribe, they'll unsubscribe later. They'll probably unsubscribe within 24 hours. Uh, anyways, um, so I don't know if we should continue playing Undertale until the channel is a bit more popular and there's a lot more people that just enjoy whatever is going on in the stream. So maybe what we should do is 
hold off on finishing this Undertale playthrough and instead do something else that might um, help build the community a bit more. Like, um, like we could do a day of, um, we can do a day of like Mario, a Super Mario speed run. When you're at work, that would be good. When is Tears coming back? Well, we're gonna take a break from Tears One. The reason why we're taking a break from Zelda is because I'm not a Zelda channel, and I cannot let this channel fall into a one game sort of deal. It's just not what I want, uh, and it doesn't. And it's in the end, it's not successful. Every game dies eventually, and that leaves the people to do it. Now, on the other hand, if one game did exceptionally well say that we were playing tears of the kingdom and one stream we had a thousand people there and there was ten thousand and we got a thousand subscribers in that stream i would probably stay on tears of the kingdom until we hit like a hundred thousand subscribers or until it died down a little bit and then i'd try to throw some other stuff in there but we didn't see that kind of growth on tears of the kingdom so there's i can't really justify continuing that line of uh of streams you know like today we didn't see we didn't see numbers too much better than we did yesterday for undertale so that tells me that every stream we do of undertale is going to keep on just kind of dropping lower and lower and lower and i and i really and we building up this community interest building up this this kind we're rolling up this community getting it nice and big you know getting this community like a snowball we need to get this we need to get the snowball rolling, right? If we can get enough people, it'll just snowball out of control, and um, and we'll just it'll just grow huge. Personally, you hate Undertale. You just said you liked Undertale, or was that not you? Wasn't that just you? It was literally you, wasn't it? Hold on. No, you didn't. No, that wasn't you. <laughs> that wasn't. That wasn't you. <clears throat> night freya thank you again for your ten dollar holla i really appreciate it uh maybe hollow knight or dead cells well hollow knight is about to come out with a uh, new thing here soon so i was thinking we could try um that's not my neighbor maybe uh if you guys wanted to try that very popular game right now um, especially for streamers, and I've not seen much on it, but I did play Papers, Please, which is, uh, pretty much the same game, just more adult. So, uh, much more horrific. Have you, you guys know that one? So, I mean, I'd have to buy that, uh, but it's only a few dollars. Seems easy. Yeah, but I mean, really, the, I think the fun, we, the fun is out of, uh, the, the, the game of it. Papers, Please. Papers, Please was a phenomenal game, and That's Not My Neighbor is pretty much the same exact game. It's almost it's almost the same exact game. It's just instead of uh, letting people into a country, you're letting people into an apartment building, uh, and you're still doing all... You're still checking the numbers and, and do pretty much all the same stuff. Uh, pretty much everything. You saw Markiplier. The first person I saw play it was actually... Uh, um, What's his name? Michael Simon? Simon Simon Michael? Simon I don't know. He he runs like ten different channels. Like Brain Blaze, Side Projects, Mega Projects, Um uh, uh Bio Graphics, uh something like that. He runs like ten channels. Simon Cowell? No, not Simon Cowell. That would be funny though. Alright, anywho guys, guys, thanks so much for joining. Um I don't think we'll be doing Undertale again, not for a little bit. Tell you what, uh, let's revisit Undertale if we can reach an average concurrent viewer base of 50, 60, 70 people. If we, if we can reach that, which we might never reach, right? But if we could reach like 50 to 70 people that like to be here pretty much no matter what, then we'll come back and um, then we'll come back and revisit Undertale and see if we can't get that snowball rolling down the hill with that. And maybe I can do things like change the voice of Papyrus. Maybe Papyrus was annoying. Maybe the voices I used might have been too annoying for people. Maybe, you know, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what the difference is between the Tears of the Kingdom playthrough and Undertale when it comes to the voices. I do understand the gameplay difference. 
obviously there's some massive gameplay difference your voices were okay yeah but they need to be perfect so some of them were like perfect but maybe i need to refine like papyrus's voice because i feel like his voice probably is annoying to hear uh in mass amounts so like you guys would know better than me because i'm doing the voice perfect yeah well i mean we can do pretty close to perfect like the like the voice you imagined right the voice you imagined in your head there wasn't one you disliked undertone a memorable game what's up boneless boy unfortunately we are calling it boneless and i don't think we'll be playing it again uh anytime soon so i'm very sorry boneless boy um but yeah, so, but one thing's for certain, I'll still do voices, even if people are not liking my voices. I like voice acting. Um, so I'll be continuing that. Sorry, Boneless. Unfortunately, unfortunately, there's just not enough interest in me playing this game for me to continue playing Undertale. I'm sorry, man. If there was, we'd be continuing it tomorrow. But tomorrow, we will be doing, um, tell you what, let's do... A Mario speedrun. What do you guys want? Mario 64 or Mario Odyssey? Mario 64 speedrun or a Mario Odyssey speed? Ooh, we could do either or. They're both fun. They're both fun to play, honestly. Just, just to play. They're so much fun. They're a great game. You understand? I'm glad. Odyssey? We have one vote for Odyssey. Hey, I'll take it. I'll take it, even if it's one. Uh, oh, Zach says Mario 64. He's coming in with the swinging. He's coming in swinging. Tiger also says M64. Sunshine, I can't speed run Sunshine. Uh, Joshua, I could play Sunshine, but I don't think uh, enough people would be um, watching it. Uh, unfortunately, yeah. We, when we were doing the Mario Odyssey and 64 speed runs uh, recently, a lot of people were interested in those. Got like 4,000 views on one of those videos. So, um, yeah, it could be fun. M64? Yeah. Uh, Sunshine, again, again, for me to justify something like Sunshine, there would have to be a lot of people here. There would have to be a lot of people here for me to be able to justify that. Which, I'm, you know, I don't like talking about having people here, but, you know, and viewership and all that, but. I try to be honest with you guys and then I'm trying and then I try to keep it to a minimum but also to keep you guys understanding that I am providing a service I am trying to make it successful and I'm only gonna do this for about another year before I s just reorganize everything and just possibly stop streaming altogether um maybe maybe not maybe it would turn into a one week thing once a week thing but I just gotta I would I need to do other avenues of career choices in my life if i can't get this one to work you know maybe i can still work on this uh as like uh more of a hobby thing and just but most of my time needs to be spent on things that are not in this if i can't make this successful right and then maybe i can eventually turn it around and make it successful again but you know i have to be realistic i have to be realistic about these things what's up monkey man Okay, <clears throat> enough about enough. Let me go ahead and give you guys a link to somebody. Somebody, somebody. Do, 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 do I have anybody streaming? Do I have anybody streaming? I can give you a link for. I have. That's not my neighbor being played by Azalea22. Um, okay, tell you what, because we were talking about that's not my neighbor. Oh, she just started streaming. She literally is just starting. I thought she was just ending. Oh, she's got a cute little starting soon, Scran. Na 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 na. See you tomorrow. Sleep well. Yeah, so guys, same time, same place, except we won't we'll be going uh an hour less than we did today. Uh probably probably an hour and a half less. Depends on how long it takes me to do the speed run. So tomorrow we'll do a speed run of Mario 64 and then we'll brainstorm an idea 
tomorrow on possibly what we could play the day after that maybe uh, maybe that's not my neighbor we could try for a day it's a three dollar game so i mean i could easily buy it and just try it out for a day um not a raid not a raid uh just more content on youtube you might like there you go her name is azalea 22 and here is the link again it's not a raid because she's not playing the same game we are and i kind of want to raid only if we're doing the same kind of games yeah tiger don't worry you don't have to worry about it tiger you're not gonna stay anyways <laughs> you're not gonna stay anyways it works out better for you if it's not a raid um so if you are looking for more content on youtube and you want to watch somebody who's gonna who's gonna provide you i, I hope a good time azalea 22 you can either type in her name or if you're able, if you're on computer you might even be able to click that link um because the most important thing to me is that you guys get good content um thank you guys so much for joining it means so much that you guys love being a part of this community so much because really that's how we're gonna grow it is through you guys through you guys and through me uh playing something that so i'll play something that gets people in my humor might get them here and things like that but it'll be you guys that get them to stay and uh just by being the epic community you are that in its own will be a huge part to the growth of this channel so i appreciate you guys I appreciate you for being amazing. Uh, Zach, Tiger, just all you guys. All you guys. You guys are awesome. Aren't you guys? Um, I will see you tomorrow for some Mario 64. Until then, stay amazing. Stay positive as best as we can. Sleep well. And to the freaking loom.